So, it seems yesterday my video uh, didn't come across very well. Seems like I may have upset a few people. At least one in particular. Uh, which in turn got me a comment that didn't make me very happy. And uh, I'm usually one to jump on something like that very fast. Uh, luckily, I didn't. I went to bed and slept on it. So I can like cooler heads prevail. Um, since this is my channel, all the comments that I make are my comments. They are just that, just my opinion, my comments. Uh, I'm not saying everybody has the same one. And not saying the comment that I got was wrong. It's just that that's their comment. This is my comment. And I feel I have the right to say what I uh, say. Uh, so that being said, um, Gil, Red Dragon Model Works, I got a very nice comment from him. Um, I do agree with him. 100% uh, I got full respect for Gilbert. Thinning is the main key to that paint. Um, I did go back. I used the other airbrush, not the Neo. I thinned the paint, this, the model color paint, the same exact way that I did with the Neo. And it it done a great job. You know, I two-toned my little armor car. It done a great job. The paint flowed very nice. Uh, the, the little whatever this thing is turned out pretty nice. It was just a thing to play with anyhow. The only problem I did have was getting this paint back out of my airbrush. It took, took a little while, so I didn't really care for that. Again, that's my opinion. I didn't care for it. Um, I'm not here to endorse any particular airbrush. I have a line of airbrushes here. I take care of, I have two different, three different brands of airbrushes. I take care of my airbrushes. I do know how to use my airbrushes since I was told I need to learn how to use them. I've been airbrushing for quite a while and uh, even my job I had before I got sick. I didn't use airbrushes but I sprayed every day with professional quality spray guns. So I do know how to thin what needs to be done, the consistencies and stuff that needs to be. I know all that. And, uh, you know, I was just stating that the airbrush, this airbrush, the Neo, that I have, this particular airbrush, is junk. Not saying the airbrush you may have or somebody else may have is junk. This one is. It has been ever since I took it out of the box. I've had it for a year now. And it was junk the first time I took it out of the box. It's still junk. There are things I do like about it. I like the finish. I like the the tip on the end, the air modulator thing that makes it all mix. I like that. It's easy to cover it and back flush to mix your paints. But with the finish on this one, the paint does tend to stick to it and make it harder to clean. It dries to it very fast. Where my other brushes, it doesn't do that. But they don't have the pretty shiny finish this one does. And for my big hands, this airbrush is a little too short. Again, that's my opinion. My hands, not going to happen for everybody. I don't endorse any particular brush. I have many. The one that I happen to like is, yes, the Badger Chrome. That is my favorite. I also have the uh, Pache H, a very nice brush. If you want a single action brush, very nice. And you can tell I do keep all my brushes in top condition. They're all very, very nice to take care of. That's a very nice brush. And I also have the Badger single action gravity feed. Which is a very nice brush. I would take this brush over the Neo any day. It's a very good brush. 
No, I'm not saying all of our water is junk. I, I don't, this is not what I've ever owned. And I'm only saying this brush, this particular brush is junk. Now, I have talked to many other people that um, have the Neo that do not like them. They've had similar problems I've had. So, I, I'm not going there. I don't know if they're all that way. I'm not being paid or endorsed to say it's good. Now, if a company comes to me and wants to start giving me a whole bunch of free airbrushes and paints and whatever to say their product is good, then, yeah, I'll jump on a bandwagon and start telling everybody it's a great thing. Go buy it. But as of now, they're not. So, in my opinion, this particular one I'm holding my hand is junk. Yours may be great. I hope it is. This one's not. Back to the paint. The paint is okay. I, I tend it the same way. I just use a different airbrush. Now, granted, I don't know if the needles are the same in both brushes. The I know I have a bigger needle and the chrome that came with it, the bigger needle. I do not know what needle came in the Iwata. I have no idea. That may have a factor on the paint. It doesn't have a factor on the uh, Neo because I keep all my paints pre-mixed, my Tamiya's, in bottles. All I gotta do is take them out, put a couple drops in the airbrush and spray. This airbrush will not spray it. It's just, it takes, the Neo takes twice as much air pressure as the Chrome to spray. Why? I don't know. But even at that, it will not give me a clean, clear pattern that the Chrome does. And that's using the same exact paints. Now I use the same paint in the Pache, works great. The same paint in this one, works fine, same mixture. Same with the Chrome. This one, the Neo, no, it doesn't. So again, that's my opinion. Uh, I feel I have the right to give my opinions. I'm not saying don't go buy the the Neo. If that's what you want, fine. You know, I took it on good authority. It was a good brush. It was recommended, so I went and bought it. The one I got just wasn't a good one. So, you know, I'm not saying don't go buy it, but take in mind when you go to Hobby Lobby, you use your coupon a year for about 40 bucks. You're getting a $40 airbrush is what you're getting. So keep that in mind. You know, you can go up to a Badger Chrome, pay $150, $60. You're getting that $156 airbrush. The Pache even costs more than the Neo. And you're getting that quality. This is a very, very good single action airbrush. You're getting that quality. So it goes back to you get what you pay for. And yes, this is the the little uh, again, I don't know what the third thing is. I don't have tracks on it yet. But the paint did come out very well out of the other airbrush. You know, this is probably my my first armor build I've ever painted. I put a tank together once and that was it. I do cars, but you know, I did get a little camo on there. You know, it's it is what it is, but that's not why I'm here. I'm just here to and I may have went too far, I don't know. But just uh last night I was pretty 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 upset you know I wasn't down on what other people use I went down on what I was using so you know and I did get a dislike on the video which that's fine that's whoever done that I don't know who done it uh, that is their opinion and opinions are fine if that's your opinion that's, that's great you know I don't mind that so with that being said I will get off here before I go too far and say something I shouldn't. Uh, I usually try to stay pretty uh, passive on these things. I try not to get in the middle of anything. Uh, but I was, you know, I was trying to help somebody out that asked me a question how, I, how a technique I use. And in the process of that I mentioned <clears throat> the airbrushes. They asked me the needles. So in the process of that I mentioned a couple different airbrushes which got me onto a different track that I probably should have been on. But in that, it was, again, my opinion was my channel, so I got on that track. Uh, so that's kind of what I get for trying to help somebody out, but I will continue to help people. If somebody has a question, please go ahead and ask. I don't mind doing that. 
Uh, just bear in mind that it is my opinion and uh, you know my experience that that has led me to that opinion. So with that, I will uh, get off of here and I'll come back with something again later. I don't know if I'm going to start something now before uh, Showtime Studios truck build. Uh, we'll see. But um, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Uh, stay tuned for more and we'll talk to you later.